Let me make sure I do this right. What's going on YouTube? It's me, your friendly neighborhood King Zappa, and I am back with some more Injustice Gads Among Us. And this is an online session. This is a first to five on the PS4 between myself and a gentleman who goes by the name of the Main Man Lobo. Now, some of you might be wondering, hmm, that name, it sounds familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Where did I hear that name before? Well, I have a story for you guys today. It is story time, kids, so gather around. Now, this gentleman, the main man Lobo, I played before a while ago, several months ago. Um, just one night, I was happen to, happening to play some uh, PS4 games in a lobby. And I got mashed up with the guy. And let's just say I ended up beating him, right, using Raven. And um, it it was pretty easy, right? All I had to do was basically zone him out. He wasn't that good of a, a Lobo player, right? And I fought one of the best Lobo players there is in, um, in Captain Oxygen, right? Many of you guys saw me fight Captain Oxygen at the top of the food chain. So I know what a good Lobo looks like. And this guy is not a good Lobo. But <laughs> I digress. So basically, I beat his Lobo that night. And he got upset, right? He didn't like the way I beat him. So one day I was streaming, and he happened to come into the chat and start talking all kinds of craziness, saying that I was bad and, the, and that the only reason I beat him was because I spammed and, you know, you can't beat me without keep away, yada, 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 yada. Whatever. Just saying the usual stuff that butthurt people say when they got beat and they don't know how to take the loss, right? So, um... You know, I kind of just took it. I was like, all right, whatever. And this, mind you, this is a few months ago, right? Fast forward to um, April 30th, right? Which was yesterday by now because I'm uploading this on the 1st. Fast forward to now. Um, he sees me in the lobby again, right? And he, you know, comes charging. I'm going to challenge that, you know? Uh, he actually did this earlier in the day, but I pretty much beat him one and done. I beat him once and I left, right? So I get back into the lobby. He's still there, right? Like, I played him earlier that day. I come back into the lobby. His ass is still there. Nigga, go to bed. <laughs> but um, I come into the lobby, and he, his ass is still there. And the first thing he does when he sees me, challenges me. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So we end up playing. And <laughs> what happens is what you're watching right now, right? So the guy's Lobo has no real tactics. It's just go in there and press buttons and hope that stuff hits. You know, he had no setups. He had no mix-ups. He didn't use his meter wisely. He just pressed buttons and did things and hoped that they worked, right? Mind you, when I fought Captain Oxygen at top of the food chain, Captain Oxygen was hitting me with lows, uh, command grabs, overheads, the whole nine. You know, I was getting caught off guard because I never really fought a good Lobo. And this is why... I don't really have the necessary experience against good Lobo players is because when I play online I play against crappy Lobos like this guy right so what proceeds to happen here is an ass whooping that is so lackluster on my part because you can tell just in my gameplay that I wasn't even trying I didn't feel like I was being challenged I didn't feel like the guy was really even worth breaking a sweat over I just proceeded to whoop that ass. It was a sheer shellacking. Now, by normal standards, I am fairly confident in my gameplay. You know, it's no secret that I, I am uh, a very confident player. I know what I'm capable of, and people can perceive that as cocky at times. But I, I can be the most humble of person. You know, if I truly feel like I got beat by the better man that day, then by all means, GG. You know, I'll get your ass next time. But this guy here talks so much trash to me and my stream that I proceeded to be a complete prick to him. Played him so lackluster. Did I, I didn't even really do any setups to this guy. I just walked backwards, waited for him to charge in or do a, a stupid meter burn overhead or some shit to try and catch me on my wake up and then punished him for it. Like... When it doesn't work the first game, right? Okay, you you might you might try it again the second game just to see if you know your opponent's gonna let up. If if I'm still catching you in the second game, 
Why would you do it in the third, fourth, and fifth still? Like, oh, look at this combo. Mmm, yes, get the damage. He's doing meter burn charges. I'm just walking backwards. Like, he's expecting me to wake up with an attack. That's why he's doing meter burn overhead. I'm playing Raven. My, my, oh, my wake-ups are garbage. Like, <laughs> I, I don't understand. I woke up one time. I did one wake-up attack in the first round, right? And I got punished for it because he did the meter burn overhead. I didn't do that the entire game. I didn't wake up again after that. I was like, alright, this guy is just going to do meter burn overhead, so I'm not going to wake up anymore. This guy still expected me to wake up. I don't get it. I think I only let him clash once the entire game, too. It was pretty bad. Because he wastes meter so much that even in chances where he could have clashed, he didn't do it because it just would have tied up anyway. So look, look at that. Try to do meter burn overhead to catch me on wake up. Get out of here, you scumbag. Jesus, look at this. Look at this guy throwing the Ten Commandments at me. Alright, watch this. What do I do? I think I grab him. Yeah, get choked. <laughs> Yo, body bag this guy. Like, I wouldn't even be I wouldn't even be uploading this had it not been for the fact that he talked trash to me in my stream. This is a prime example of, uh, you know, back up your claims, stop trash talking when you suck. Because I'll be the first to admit, you know, my Raven gets blown up a lot. There's no question about it. I've been bodied left and right. People who come to my streams, they see me get bodied. Uh, you know, they, they know that I'm not invincible, right? I lose all the goddamn time. But, you know, don't get mad when I beat you. You know what I'm saying? I never claim to make myself out to be this, you know, extremely godlike player. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> you don't know I'm going to do that by now? Who's. People are punishing that right now, you know? <sighs> God damn, this guy sucks. Like, look at this. I'm not doing anything. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this guy. Oh, I missed a freaking 4 or 3. Yeah, I tried to do a freaking uh, meter burn overhead again. Oh, look, this is where he tries to mount his comeback, right? Look at all the meter he spends on this comeback. Watch this. Watch him. That's one bar. Wasted. Alright. Uh-huh. Meter burn for that. And then, oh. Steps on me right there. So he wasted two bar, right? Highly unnecessary. Uh, dash forward three times. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's going in. He's going in, guys. Look at this. Oh, dropped it. The... And then he traits up right in front of me. He didn't get a hard knockdown. See, right there, I went for my little fancy setup. You know, the dash under, all that good stuff. But because he wasted all that meter last round, he didn't have enough meter to actually win a clash at the end of there. So he couldn't really get his health back. So he just pretty much said, screw it. I'm not even going to bother clashing. <sighs> this guy is so free. Like, I don't know. But, yeah, man. You guys know now from this video, I'm back on Injustice. I'll be playing it on the PS4 and the PS3. I will be, uh, you know, trying trying my best to bring you guys more content. Uh, try to diversify it a little bit, you know. Maybe maybe more story time videos. Give you guys some backstory type matches. Um, give you guys videos that actually give you some insight onto the gameplay itself. Letting you guys know why I do some of the certain things that I do when I do them in match. Look at that. Look at this guy throwing snow globes. God, what a bum. Yo, hold that. Why did you not punish that? That was like the most obvious teleport on the planet Earth. And this guy got hit by it. Like, come on. You can't you can't talk trash and then get 5-0, dog. Look at this. Are you going to win one? You going to win that? Oh, no. He tried to meet a burn overhead. Got smacked for it. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. He's struggling. Oh, get that push block. And that is that is so punishable. If a Lobo does that on whiff, you can whiff punish that. Look at that. He just he's left there floating. You can't just we can't do that to Lobo. He's the main man. You can't punish that on block, I believe. I think it has too much stun. But look, that was his one and only clash. I believe. I don't remember him clashing earlier. But yeah, man. That's crazy, son. Uh <sighs> But yeah, man, I, just 
take your L's, man. I I'm not gonna lie. I get salty when I lose, but I don't, I don't feel the need to say, oh my god, this dude is terrible. Like, let me go send him a message or go to his stream and tell him how much he sucked. Nah, that's not my, sh that's not my shindig, you know. Other, other injustice players, they'll at least give me that credit. You know, if I lose, I'm just like, all right, whatever. Nah, get blocked, bitch. Yeah, just get your defense up. Get your defense up. Look at why are you doing that? Still bitch ass down. Oh god, so free. Young and wild and free. <laughs> Look at the tea bag, yo. I gave no fucks about this guy. I gave none. Oh, I dropped the baby. I was late on the confirm. I didn't think the dropkick would actually hit him from that far. I figured you could see it from a mile away that you'd be able to like, you know, punish it and get hit with that. I oh, know he doing wake up. Yo, hold this. <laughs> Look at that confirm was so ugly. <laughs> oh man. Yo, the main man Lobo on PS4, I hope you're watching this. You're garbage. Don't trash talk me again when you suck this bad. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next injustice video. 50. This video was like eleven minutes long. You're garbage. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.